Hi, everybody. Rabbi Dean here, along with Rachel Milan. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Clearly, I am in a different place now. I am back in the Temple Emanuel Sanctuary. I wanted you to see and remember and feel this place that is so special to us. So Shabbat Shalom from the Temple Emanuel Sanctuary. I hope you will imagine yourselves here, and I am for sure imagining all of you here as well. Tonight was supposed to be Camp Shabbat, so you know what our programming committee does for Camp Shabbat, fills the multi-purpose room with trees and goodies and s'mores, and we all wear jeans and white shirts or tie-dye, and we have a blast and games and campfire stories afterwards. Since we're not doing all of that, or even though we're not doing all of that, we thought we would evoke the spirit of Jewish summer camp tonight through our musical selections and a few stories we want to tell. When I think of summer camp, one of the things I remember best is the Israeli counselors and how incredibly good they are at connecting with the kids and finding time to sit with them one-on-one -on -one and weave friendship bracelets or tell stories, and how often I've heard our counselors say things like, my friend Tal or my friend Michal. Those Israeli counselors put a real face on the nation of Israel and forge our relationships as family members all across the globe. So on this Camp Shabbat, I am thinking about the wonderful Israeli counselors that fill the reformed camps across the country. So I hope you will uh, stay with us for the next 45 minutes or so, that you are in a comfortable and safe place, that you have candles at the ready. And I offer this poem by the poet Jane Kenyon to get us in the mood for Shabbat. Let the light of late afternoon shine through chinks in the barn, moving up the bales as the sun moves down. Let the cricket take up chafing as a woman takes up her needles and her yarn. Let evening come. Let dew collect on the hoe abandoned in the long grass. Let the stars appear and the moon disclose her silver horn. Let the fox go back to its sandy den. Let the wind die down. Let the shed go black inside. Let evening come. To the bottle in the ditch, to the scoop in the oats, to the air in the lung, let evening come. Let it come as it will, and don't be afraid. God does not love us, leave us comfortless. So let evening come. Rachel, you have been a song leader at summer camp for how many years? Uh, 16. Six, that's even more than I thought. <laughs> so who better than you to uh, bring us into the mood of summer camp uh, with uh, your music? Thank you. I'm really excited to do Camp Shabbat. <laughs> we'll start with Maya Fehayom. What a beautiful day. Maya Fehayom. Shabbat Shalom. Maya Fehayom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom My Shabbat 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 Shalom 
We're going to keep singing a little bit. Hava Nashira, Shir Hallelujah, come let us sing songs of praise. To me, this is the song of, of being at camp, at least in my time at, as a song leader. So we'll sing in this one. Hava, Hava Nashira, Shir Hallelujah, Shir Hallelujah. Hava, Hava Nashira, Sheer hallelujah, sheer hallelujah. Hava, hava na sheera, sheer hallelujah, sheer hallelujah. Hava, hava na sheera, sheer hallelujah, sheer hallelujah. It is time to light candles, so I hope you have yours close. And if not, please share mine. We'll light them and make three circles with each one, brushing away negativity and despair and sorrow and brushing towards us joy and peace and comfort. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu, lehadlik ner, lehadlik ner, shel shabbat. One of my favorite customs at camp is Kabbalat Shabbat. As the shadows grow long, all the kids get a break between Friday afternoon programming and Shabbat, and they shower and dress in white, and then something really beautiful happens. A parade forms, and it is led by our musicians who also dress in white like minstrels, like Pied Pipers, walk through the camp. And as they cross each cabin, the campers from that cabin come and join the parade and sing Shabbat songs together. One of the things I most love about that moment is that, first of all, everyone participates, but also all the musicians, some of whom are full-time recording artists, some of whom are Jewish educators who spend their summers at camp, and some of whom are teenagers just starting to pick out a few chords on the guitar, and they are all welcome to be leaders. And I love how the young musicians aspire to learn more and more and to lead their cabin and lead their community. And eventually hundreds and hundreds of people are snaking through the camp, and their voices are calling out and echoing through the pines and off the mountains as they make their way in various camps to some sort of natural amphitheater where they will gather together and celebrate Shabbat.
And one of the songs that is always included is this one, Shoi Kala. <laughs> Rachel, for, on my computer, you cut out for just a few bars. I don't know if that happened to anyone else, but I'm glad we're all back together now. <laughs> so when I was a song leader at camp, that was the tradition. We always sang Bowie Kala when we walked, and then we always started, once everyone was in the Beit Fila with this song, Shiru La Donai. And um, it was actually one of the first songs that I was allowed to sing on the mic when I was a new song leader. So it has a special, uh, special place in my heart. And probably because it starts with lie, 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 so I couldn't mess it up. But so we can start together. <laughs> yeah, I lie, 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 I lie, lie, lie. There is one who sings the song of his own life, finding everything within himself. There is one who leaves the circle of herself and sings the song of her people. There is one whose voice rings with the song of humanity, hoping for the highest perfection. And there is one who rises even higher uniting with all creatures, with all worlds, filling the universe with song. Nivarech, let us bless. Would you rise, please, for the bar chut.
praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch Ata Adonai. Amariv Arabim. It is time for the Shema, so please lift yourself up, whether physically or energetically, or both. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Baruch Shem Rachel froze on my computer, so I'll continue. Baruch Shem, Kevod Malchuto, Le'olam Va'ed. Have a seat. Le'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha. Becholevavcha uvechol nafshecha uvechol meodecha. Vehayu advarim haele. Asher anochi mitzavecha. 
היום על לבביך, ושיננת העם לבניך, ודיברת בם, ושיתך בביתך, ובלכתך בדרך, ובשוך בך ובקומך, וקשרתם לאות על ידך, והיו לתוספות בין עיניך. וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך. למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי, והייתם קדושים לאלוהיכם. אני אדוני אלוהיכם. אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים, להיות לכם לאלוהים. אני אדוני אלוהיכם. אמן. Another memory I have from Camp Newman is a lesson that Rachel taught. Our group of students were all out uh, on the patio, and she set out a large blanket and asked them all to stand on it, which they were able to do easily, comfortably. And then she asked them to imagine. Hi, Rachel. Welcome so back. So sorry about that. These things Just happen. like camp, there's I, not great internet service, apparently. You know, and you roll yeah. with the punches. I was just uh, sharing the story of the lesson. I'm pretty sure that, that you led it, of uh, the, um, a, a group of students who uh, stood on a blanket that you had laid out. And you shared with them that they were either, a, I think they were a family. And there were maybe 10 or 15, and there was room for every one of them. And then you asked them to imagine what would happen if uh, one of the parents in the family lost their job. and they. You folded the, uh, and there were fewer resources for the family, and so you folded the blanket in half. And then what if the remaining uh, uh, parent had their hours cut back and there was less money for the family, and the blanket was folded in quarter, and the kids were still able to stand on it, but they were really had to hold on to each other and struggle. And then what would happen if food prices went up, and now the blanket was folded in an eighth, and they were trying to hang on to each other, and they saw that as resources diminished, there was in fact no way for everyone to have ample space. And the lesson really hit home for them. It was so physical and palpable in a way that informal education at camp provides like nothing else. It is time now for Micha Mocha.
אליי, 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 אדוני, ימלוך לעולם ועד. by Mato Ru. When she comes back, of course, I want to hear her story, but I have a story about this Hashkivenu as well. When I was in rabbinical school, we were expected to spend one summer at least working at summer camp. And so I went up to uh, the woods outside of Seattle for a Jewish camp that was just starting. Now it's called uh, Camp, oh, I lost the name, Camp Kaz, sorry. Anyway, uh, it was Friday afternoon, and uh, one of the camp directors rushed up to me and said, we need you to take the fifth grade girls up to the hills and lead Shabbat. They're going to lead Shabbat on the mountaintop there. The person who was going to do it can't do it. And I was like, oh, 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 okay, I'll be glad to do that. And we need you to sing this Hashki Venu, which I had never heard before. And I remember standing in the dirt road and the song leader sang it to me a few times. And then I uh, led the girls up on the hike and, uh, and sang uh, Hashki Venu with them. And now I have to remember precisely which Hashki Venu it was. Because Rachel was going to sing it. I don't have it, so I'll just sing. Oh, she might be coming back. There you are. Welcome back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> These things happen. These things happen. Uh, so I just <laughs> told my story about the Hashki Venu by Mato Ru. And I was just about to sing it, but I didn't remember the melody. And I said that you have a Hashki Venu story too. We'd love to hear it. Oh no. Oh no. I should have at least gotten the first couple bars of it from her so that, uh, so that I could lead it. I'm instead going to uh, 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 sing another tune. Hashki venu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom, Lishalom, Lehaamideinu Shomreinu Lechaim, Ufros Aleinu Sukkat Shlomecha, Ufros Aleinu Sukkat Shlomecha, Amen. Shelter us beneath thy wings, O Adonai. Guard us from all harmful things, O Adonai. Keep us safe throughout the night till we wake with morning's light. Teach us God wrong from right. Amen. 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 was the right tune. That is the tune I learned on that dirt road and sang with the fifth graders up on the top of that hill in the mountains of Washington State. And now it's time for the Amidah, our prayer traditionally said standing. So would you rise if it is comfortable for you to do so? We'll enter into this space and then take 10 deep breaths before returning to our uh, shared prayer if you wish to pause the recording, you sure can.
Adonai, sefatai tiftach, ufi agid tihilatecha. Eternal God, open up my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Shalom im Roma. Uya ase shalom aleinu. Ve al kol Yisrael. Ve imru. Ve imru. Amen. Ya ase shalom. Ya se shalom, shalom aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, Shalom aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom. Shalom aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom. Shalom aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael. Since we don't know whether Rachel will be joining us again or not, let's continue our service. It is time for me to Barach to pray for all those who need healing. Let me share their name with us. On this Shabbat, we pray for Shotzi Abramson, Rita Beckman, Dina Bidak, Denise Brown, Peter Bregman, Antoinette Caputo, Denise Chandler, Don Cole, Jorge Contreras, Jessica Ellsworth, Liz Fairman, Susan Fiore, Dee Force, David Foreman, Ricky Lynn Gans, Ed Geffner, Michael Glass, Corey Gustafson, Emily Harris, Carl Herman, David Hollander, Lee Hawkins, Kirtza Haywood, Beverly Jones, Meredith Jones, Janice Calden, Marilyn Calden, Helen Kaplan, Bella Katzen, Stephen Katzen, Jeffrey Keene, Mel Kessler, Stephen Loeb, Daryl Lerner, Nelson Lerner, Nancy Levy, Jack Lichtman, Francine Locks, Andrew Marks, Aileen Matlow, Jerry Mavranak, Brittany Maxwell. Karen McKinney, Stephen Messer, Fiona Michael, Jennifer Mills, Audrey Mascali, Jessica Novak, Wendy Nudel, Leticia Panguntalan, Ronald Peck, Roberto Pereira, Roz Perlman, Barb Ravioli, Howard Ragowin, Nancy Salson, Lori Sellis, Marion Sheck, Jeffrey Craig Scheidel, Leslie Shahar, Devin and the Sharma family, Meredith Singer, Jane Simkin, Roger Sosha, Gerald Traxler, Linda Traxler, Judy White Hinkle, and Lucy Wright. Please share with us, say aloud, 
the names of other people you know who are ailing today. And to all of these we know and have named aloud, we add those around the world who are suffering from so many different things, including coronavirus, plaguing us all, and all those who are offering love, care, and support for those who are ill. the month of Elul, the month in the Hebrew calendar that leads up to Tishrei, that leads up to Rosh Hashanah and the High Holy Days, which is to say that the time for Cheshbon HaNefesh, or introspection, the time for Teshuvah, or changing what needs to be changed about ourselves, has officially begun. And at Temple Emmanuel, there are several things that we are doing to mark this time of preparation. The first begins tomorrow night, Saturday night. Temple Emmanuel is part of Hamsa, a group of five reform synagogues, Arizona, California, and Oregon. We are joining together throughout this time of COVID. And tomorrow night, we are offering an entryway into Elul, beginning with Havdalah, and then an opportunity to learn with one of seven different rabbis. Each of us will be teaching in a breakout room, and then there'll be a musical conclusion. So it is a great way to uh, begin Elul, to begin the process of introspection, and to get to know Hamsa, this organization that we have formed and are forming and that we'll connect with all throughout the coming year. And also, we are partnering with ASU Hillel uh, during these High Holy Day season. And uh, ASU Hillel, the rabbi there, Rabbi Susie Stone, has created a really, really beautiful, thoughtful process of posting a different question uh, that calls us to think about our lives each day for the month of Elul. So I will be posting them on Rabbi Dean Shapiro on Facebook, and I invite you to see me there. And, uh, and to see me tomorrow night uh, for our Hamsa Elul. You received an invitation for that in the weekly email, and it's also available on Rabbi Dean Shapiro on Facebook. The password for that Zoom session is Elul. So come join with us uh, uh, now. And now it's time for Hadish Yatom. So let me share our community member names. We are remembering Elaine Isaacson and Nanette Barkas and Ronald Gluck and Ron Levine this week as they have passed recently. Our hearts go out to their families. And let us remember Isidore Max Alpert, 
Isidore Bedak, Milton Bernstein, Sadie Chayat, Lester Cohn, Harmon Davis, Ra Todd Davis, Pauline Lillian Gines, Molly Feldman, Irving Fellner, Max Flancer, Joseph Forbes, Barry Greenberg, Martha Irwin, Irv Israel Klein, Harold Craven, Bertha Mintz, Jane Powell, Bella Rosenzweig, Jacob Schutz, Lawrence Simkin, Eugene Tapper, Sheldon Richard Tuckman, Edith Clanfer Wainer, Sylvia Weissman, Martin, from Marty Wolstein, and Jack Ugovian. Would you say aloud, please, the names of others that you are remembering on this Arab Shabbat? And if it is your custom, would you rise, please, for Kaddish Yatom? Yitkadal, the Yitkadash Shemay Rabbah, the Almad Yibrach Rute, the Amlich Malchute, the Chayechon of Yomechon, of Chayetechol Beit Yisrael, the Agala of Isman Kariv, the Imru Amen. Yehei Shemay Rabbah Meborach, the Olam Ume Almaya. Yit Barach, the Yishtabach, the Yit Ba'ar, the Yit Roman, the Yit Nase, the Yit Hadar, the Yit Tale, the Yit Talal, Shemay the Kudsha, Bruchu. Leela min kol virchata veshirata, tush bechata venechemata, da amiran be almavim ru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya, bechayim alenu be al kol yisrael be imru amen. O se shalom bim romav, hu ya ase shalom alenu be al kol yisrael be imru amen. May the one who causes peace to reign in the high heavens. Bring peace here on earth and to the hearts of all those who mourn. Please join me in saying, Amen. As we pray for peace with Ose Shalom, so too at camp do we pray for peace with the song Od Yavo. And this is sung at Shabbat and especially at the Shabbat song and dance session later at night at Camp Newman. It's at the basketball courts hundreds of kids all dressed in white, dancing in circles and hanging out. And I have to say that as I've observed it, kids of every size and body type and ability are included and invited to dance and share in the joy together. It is such a beautiful thing to watch, to take part in. So let's have a little bit of that spirit now. And that means I expect you to do some of the hand gestures. Odiavo shalom malenu, odiavo shalom malenu, odiavo shalom malenu, ve al kulam. Odiavo shalom malenu, odiavo shalom malenu, odiavo shalom malenu, ve al kulam. Here we go. Salam. Aleinu ve al kol haolam, salam shalom. Salam. Aleinu ve al kol haolam, salam shalom. Od yavo shalom aleinu, od yavo shalom aleinu, od yavo shalom aleinu. May peace in all its forms descend upon the world, descend upon all of us, into all of our families, into all of our hearts. I wish you Shabbat Shalom.